I get into some weird stuff. But I love it. On today's episode of Casey and Grumpy Do Things, we're gonna go get some snacks and then we're gonna go tell a car that doesn't have any wheels. The snacks are important. Yeah. Hey, you, you didn't even compliment me on my cool new spikes. Well, that's right. Dave got it all clean. Yeah, and then we're and then at a, went and got it dirty. We were at a truck stop up in Washington and he saw those spikes. He's like, we gotta get those. So now it has spikes on it. Now you have spikes, you need them on the back. I'll show you better after snacks. I got a full kitchen here. You just walk right out the other side? No. I didn't go out. I was just wandering around. You just exploring? No, I'm not in a boy. I was just I said exploring. I'm exploring. That's the most fun of this whole thing. So we got chicken, drinks. What do you got? I got a classic tater chip. And that's all he's going to eat all day. I got to have my salt. Is that how you keep that nice figure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see Check out my spikes. I, uh, I always thought spikes were super dumb. I still really do. But David wanted to put spikes on the truck, so we put spikes on the truck. So, so, so why was that, that you had to get these chips today? Because they're classic, just like you? Classic, because I'm classic. I, I like how you're leaving out the other part. What other part? <laughs> the part how your wife won't let you buy them because they're too salty, so you had to get them when you're out with me. Yeah, that's right. But she buys all, she buys Cheetos, and I can't stand Cheetos. So, so. So this is revenge. So are you going to be in trouble when she watches this video? <laughs> so how are your chips? My chips were fine. He did my chips a little. <laughs> So this is what we've got to get out of here. You can see it's missing some parts, including everything in the front that it would need to roll on. So we brought the dollies and our plan is to stick the dollies under here and then winch it back up on there. It can roll on its back tires and the dollies will be its front tires. Does that sound like it makes somewhat of sense? as much as we're going to make out of this. I wish it had the other door on it for stability. This uh, continues the theme of Mopar skit taken apart for restored and never put back you, together. You could have her run on Mopar. Yeah. Need fixing. It's definitely a fresh start. Okay, I'm going to go roll the bed back and uh, Take the dollies get off. the dollies down. Had to move some stuff so I took my eye off the camera. Hello. You're rubbing over there. Huh? Rubbing over here. Well, it'll be fine right there. It's actually pretty firm all the way across. Yeah. Might leave these super narrow if we can. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll work. They'll be able to stay all the way narrow. Hey, remember when I said one of these days I was gonna be the cameraman and you're gonna do it? Probably. This would be a great day for and that. then and then we'll have my memorial service. <laughs> So you're just going to set them on the flat part of the frame here, or yeah. the yep. body? Are you going to clear this? Yeah. That okay. Back a little. Uh, back a little. Uh, there, that ought to clear. Yeah, that'll work. Give me that. Yeah, I saw you that. You want to pop those jack stands out of there while I pick it up? Uh, 
air and everything. Okay. Over? Yep. Jack stands go or stay? Stay. Okay. So, now we will go free spool the winch. One jay hook off to one side to hopefully pull it that way some as it comes out. Lock the winch. And now we end the winch. We're not even worried about idling up the track. It's just going to be super slow, which is okay. Looking good so far. So here's the front suspension under this fabulous automobile. It's called rigid suspension. We're just busy filming each other. putting his wheel strap on and then he'll tighten it up and we'll probably go. So he ties him in a knot every time so he can untie him. Yep. I'm practicing. I purposely make it so they're a knot so that I have to get good at untying knots so that way when they accidentally become a knot, I don't care. And that's my story. See how quickly he did that? What? And he tries to tell you he doesn't know what he's doing. So now what he's going to do is pull a wheelie out of here with the rollback like he does with the skid steer. I've done a wheelie in this truck. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you going to strap anything on the back or do you need... Yeah, I'm going to strap that down too. I don't know how, but... Oh, I see what I do. Oh, that means it'll go this way. There you go. There we go. You're just going to hook them in here and draw it up? Or? No, because I already got the other straps on. I'll put binders on. Put a binder. Uh huh. Bruises are sharp, aren't they? I hooked that wheelie stuff stainless piece right there. I'd be afraid to do it with the winch because the winch is so powerful, it'd probably rip that right out of there. So these are those worthless binders in case you use it. You guys are gonna get me in trouble. No, I'm not. I said I happen to agree with your assessment on binders. I said I wouldn't talk about them anymore as long as I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm see. talking about it, not you. Because no, everybody keeps bringing it up. Take some on that one. We all know the funny part is I'm not the one who created that whole situation, so I don't feel bad. Everybody's got all these different tricks and ways of tying up the straps and all the extra and all, and it's like. Harbor Freight Clamp. 
done. Thanks for showing up once we're all done, Jason. You beat me to it. This is Jason's car now. Uh-huh. And uh, Grumpy's pointing the camera. Not at Jason. Well, I just didn't realize you wanted Jason on. Nah, you don't need me on. Worldwide. Not, I know it's not going to be great for my analytics, but <laughs> it is his car. So, I hate to tell you, but there's a door missing on the other side. Yeah, there's lots of things missing on this one. <laughs> Yeah, but the nice thing is, a lot of that stuff now is made to replace Well, the good news is it's all at my house already. I saved you guys the hard part. I already came and got everything. Oh, I see. Okay. You're just toying with us, are you? Yeah, I want to make it easier. Good news, Jason. Yes, sir. We got it loaded. Well, thank you. That actually works. I no. figured it was going to be much easier to get everything out of here. Yeah. It was piled full. So you have all the everything's at my house. Oh, it was good. all stuck in it. You'll see it when we get there. So in all reality, I was giving you some crap for showing up after the work stuff that you already did the actual work part. Yeah, by the way, we're taking this to DMV to get the VIN inspection done so you can actually register it. So the VIN number should be on the dash, right? Well the dash is in my truck. <laughs> so we don't have to go <laughs> so to the DMV. That's, that's why I was so behind on uh, helping you guys get this loaded. There you go. Yep. That's what I had to get. That's why they wouldn't issue a title for it. Because I didn't have this. Yes. But I have the match. So the back of the VIN, actually all these numbers are there on the core support right and in the back. Oh, they are? She needed this there to match it with the car. Oh, okay. So it didn't make sense in hauling it. Well, so. okay. Well, let's take it to the DMV. Let's do it. Yeah, it should be fairly quick. Yep. So we're at DMV and I just lowered the bed down to make it easier for the DMV people to come do their VIN inspection on this thing. That way you can make sure Jason can get it all titled. I think there's one here. The dash piece is in there. There's one in the trunk. Upsy daisy. And that way. I get into some weird stuff. But I love it. What's that? Did you catch your shirt on the comb strip? Yeah, these these stainless strips that I keep saying I'm gonna take off. It was this one. Caught me. And isn't it ironic that the guy who sells these shirts is known for durability testing and destroying things? And his shirt didn't hold up to the durability test. No. No. Calling you out, Cody. Toughen up your shirts. Or I could just not snag them on the shiny bits that shouldn't be there in the first place. Put in the comments below. Should I take these, these shiny things off? I think I should. Right. And then paint them. Right. No, then put the sliding winch track there for the straps. Yeah. The removable one where you can pull oh, them out. The one where you slide the hole. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the winch slides right here, slide you could slide it, slide them in and out. Yeah. So what I do is pull those off, put and that sliding winch one, track on. Two, three, four winches on each side. Well, I can have as many as I want because they're removable. Yeah, but you, you can't go past the light, can you? You know what I would have though? Light. Less shiny stuff which is important. That's true. So I can paint those black for you real quick if you want. There's a hardware store right over there if you want. A what? Hardware store. You want to get some paint? Yeah. I think we should just pry them off and already black underneath. So let us know. Should we get rid of them or not? You vote yes? I vote yes. I vote yes. It's dangerous. What's your vote? Attack it. So we we attack Casey and then DC. In the name of safety, they got to go. That was the easiest part. <laughs> yeah, now, now you have to build the car. So, when was it stolen the last time? Uh, so far, it hasn't been come up stolen yet, so <laughs> we're safe. <laughs> okay, well, let's get it out to your house and then you can do like the whole work part of this. You gotta go wash it. <laughs> wash it. That's what it needs. All right, well, we made it to top secret location known as Jason's house. 
aka 278 highway 26 pal butte oregon in case you're wondering <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna do something a little goofy here he wants it uh nose out in the shop so i pulled in forward we're gonna set it on the ground and me and you are gonna pick up the front end and carry it like a wheelbarrow into the shop after i pull the truck out of the way sounds good i ate my wheaties so. perfect for a while now we're gonna carry it because it's harder Well, if you don't have a project, Why boring? you're going to get in trouble. I got a 44 pickup I did in 89. I still got it. So you know what I did in 89? I pooped my diaper. No, not really. I was poor, so I shouldn't have done that. God, it still might have happened. I just... That belly set up worked really slick. That's nice, yeah. Was it easy to get in there and get that stuff? Yeah. It? Yeah, it was no big deal at all. This is the most difficult part of the whole trip. It works out. Now, now when I air up the back tires, it won't roll off into my truck. There you go. I have wheel chocks in there. I know I, you I, do too, but... I do too, but why be sensible? Down for a couple days on the phone. Wheelbarrow. You got it? They're young. Let them go. Yeah, yeah. They're young. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> hey, now, you got a directions on every piece on how it goes back. You thought I was kidding when I said I had kind of got the rest of it yesterday, huh? I had a 56 Ford two-door sedan, uh, station wagon, which I never completed. I sold. I did the same thing. Well, not only do you got parts, you got spare parts. You got two alternators, two starters, two grill pieces. Yeah. Nothing wrong with having a little couple pieces of extra stuff, but yeah, there's uh, pretty much all the, the original original seats, fenders, doors, seats, tail lights, oh wow, hinges, windows, all the pins are pretty good shape, and cross members. I'd probably buy a new radiator. Do you have the front suspension pieces? There's the the front the wheels for the front that we can't use. Oh, well, there's cross members. Yeah. So you'll need new A arms. I've got all that. They're oh, all okay. up here. So all that stuff's oh, here. Oh, oh there, thing there I'm it is. Missing, obviously, the windshield. Uh, Glasses, spin, you'll be fine. The, the, the spindles and, and uh, rotors and calipers are gone. Not a big deal. No, that's, that's easy stuff. And you can put some bigger brakes on it, too. All the at? wire harnesses, everything are all there. All wow. the wiper linkage, hood stuff, huh. some trim. Needs interior, of course. What you're saying is you've got your work cut out for I you. I do. <laughs> this is like yeah, but this fender's in good shape. You know, for the most part, I mean, the floor inside that thing wasn't rusted out, and that's what I was afraid of when I first saw it. Everything was piled in the, that car. All of this stuff came was out inside of, of it. Inside, it, except the hood, obviously. So you couldn't well, see the floor. I had no idea. I didn't know what I was getting into, but I think you came out all right for free. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for some DMV paperwork. They put it on Marketplace, mm. and they post it for free, and I thought it was a scam. I saw it ten minutes later. 
was in contact with them, ran down I there. I thought it was a scam, so I called them right away. <laughs> <laughs> So we got the car dropped off and now we got to go head back over and pick up my shenanigans trailer for shenanigans things. Okay. I got the shenanigan trailer hooked back up. We did some shenanigans with it this morning. We've got some more shenanigans to do with it this afternoon. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time.